Ahem. I say again. Ahem. So I'm, I'm very sorry, but we need to end now. This, this is, I've actually got a note that says, audience says, or. Oh. So thank you for that. <laughs> I was going to work you for that, but it's, it's, uh, yeah. So I think everyone on the stage now, this isn't quite the entire Orga team, but it's most of them. Um, so if, you, if there's anyone else, is there anyone in the audience who is Orga who's too sh shy to come up here? Could, can you point to anyone near you who's Orga that's too shy to go in? <laughs> no. Oh, we got someone? Yeah. <laughs> right. So. <laughs> Are we good? Are there any Microsoft representatives in the room? <laughs> I think they've all left sight. But <laughs> we love them, really. Anyway, it's been a really amazing experience. Well, is it going to upgrade now? I mean, it's <laughs> right, anyway, this, this is just pretty to look at. This, this was all recorded by Ben. Where's Ben gone? He's down there. Ben has been doing time lapses of the whole site. Can we get a small round of applause for Ben? <laughs> so th this has been a really amazing experience for all of us doing this again this year. It's, it's gone better than we could possibly have imagined and we're all incredibly appreciative that you came here and joined us in the field. It's been wonderful. And we really hope that you've all had a, such a good time as well. I, Actually, just don't tell us if you haven't. It'll just ruin it. It's just... No, do. <laughs> Leave us in our bubble. No, we would actually like to know if there's any feedback. Not now. We can't deal with it. Uh, but after the event, please email us and let us, let us know about anything that you thought could be improved or anything that we made better. We think that almost everything we did this year was an improvement on last time. And we hope you agree too. <laughs> But none of this would have been possible without all the volunteers. So can I ask every single person who volunteered or spoke in the audience to stand up now? Is there anybody who was unable to stand up that would like to raise their hand instead? A round of applause for this person. Thank you so much. It's, it means a lot to us that you put the time in, and even when we were very stressed that you helped out even a tiny bit. I think we still have some volunteer shifts to fill. Am I I'm correct saying that? Oh no, don't volunteer. Everything's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I go that far. But thank you so much. Um, but then I, we also have to thank the team who've done this. Who mostly sat along here or hiding backstage behind the speaker cabinets. We'd especially like to thank the AV team who are new to us this year and came over just to do EMF. And I've done, as far as we can tell, a really good job, but we haven't checked yet. So, you know, so. And of course, we have to thank the sponsors who allowed us to do so much extra on top of what we could already do. So again, I have to thank Microsoft, is there anyone from Microsoft here? Or are they all gone? Can we have a huge round of applause for Microsoft?
And we're going to keep clapping while I read through all of them, because otherwise it's going to take a really long time. So we're going to clap. Next, Mo. UCL Engineering. Spotify. MathWorks. Texas Instruments. ST Microelectronics. HCD, who deserve an extra special round of applause. Smart Carbon Control. Worth Electronic, RS Electronic, Port Cullis, who've done an amazing treasure trail all around the site. Yelp, Heart Internet, CodeThink, Twilio, Chef, Improbable, Medical Connections, Just Add Sharks, Flex Optics, and finally, Fiber Options. <gasps> genuinely need a drink. Um, so many sponsors and so little time to thank them all. But all of them who've been here have been amazing. They've been doing things all over site. Nexmo have had a stand up there. have been doing great things. We've had people from TI helping out with the badge all weekend who've done amazing work. UCL have been helping out with the childcare. Um, uh, the Smart Carbon Control and HCD have had the two massive vehicles over there that I'm sure some of you have gawped at more than once. Um, Apparently, they're having a party all night, so I'd go and join them in there. They're apparently luxurious. There may be a hot tub, I don't know. So, <laughs> uh, Aside from them, we'd also really like to thank Nipabout. Is there, are there anyone from Nipabout here? No? Nipabout have done all the childcare over the weekend. Pardon? The purple people. The purple people. We're, we're all purple this year. You know? <laughs> so, but Nipabout have done amazing childcare. So good that children have been asking to stay longer because they like it so much. <laughs> So, And we'd also like to thank Festival Lou, who have made toilets at least tolerable, and have also stepped in for many other problems on site that I don't want to talk about. So, <laughs> So, a few things about the, the event that we've... I've just run some numbers very quickly before I came on stage. Uh, very, very quickly. So, <laughs> we have had, over the weekend, 399 talks, workshops, and a lot of weird things as well. Um, that's not including the installations. They're just weird events, and they're everywhere. So, thank you to everyone who put on an event or did something somewhere on, on site. The village has really stepped up this year. You were awesome. Thank you so much. But you need to do better next time. So... <laughs> We have to thank the network team for making internet that actually did work nearly all weekend, nearly all the time. And and we've, we've had almost 5,000 devices connected to the Wi-Fi over the weekend. 1,400 of which were the badges that everyone's got. So it's, they did work, and I don't care what you all say. <laughs> <laughs> and following on from that, we have just over 60 applications that have been submitted to the Bad App Store and are currently downloadable, which is really cool because we only gave them to you yesterday at one o'clock. So that's quite productive, but you should probably do something better than just writing applications for a badge. <laughs> so, but we're going to keep the Bad App Store up, and we hope that you're going to keep playing with them and producing new cool stuff to go on with them. Following on from that, we do actually have a prize for the badges. So we have a prize for the best badge application that's produced before the end of September, and the best badge hardware hack that's produced by the end of September. And both of those are two free tickets to the next EMF. Woo! More. You know, so. And... Yes. And... Two free tickets to the one day, if we do one, which we may not, we don't know yet. So, <laughs> just there has to be a disclaimer on that. Um, so, do get in touch. The Badge App Store may go down tomorrow for a little while while we get off site, but it'll be back up again and we're contactable and et cetera, et cetera. The Badge team are, have worked incredibly hard and I really hope you've all enjoyed playing with them, even though they stack trays occasionally. But 
They're really fun devices, and we hope you play with them after the event as well. Um, we have also had, I was informed via Twitter moments before coming on stage, 532 tweets sent from the BBC Micro in the bar. I think we should try and break 1,000 by midnight. But please post actual things rather than just the letter A. So, you know, it's, but it would be pretty cool. Also, I don't know what, how many tweets the Twitter print has printed, but it does seem to still be working remarkably. So I post more things. I think it ran out of paper. Oh, it ran out of paper. Has anyone, has anyone got any receipt paper? It's, it's, oh, it, apparently, yes. Um, <laughs> And we also, we still need to drink a lot more beer. I, I didn't get any numbers on this because I didn't quite have time. But Russ, would you like to give an update from the bar? Hello. No. Um, <laughs> we still have a lot more beer. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot more pint glasses. So if you're holding a pint glass in your hand, that is yours. <laughs> Love it and cherish it. And do not throw it in the bin, please. Uh, everybody else gets two halves. Um, <laughs> Also, we do have a lot more beer to drink than we did last time uh, because we have more than none. Um, yeah. Sorry, Tef's just made me lose my train of thought. Um, I, I, would, I would, actually, no, so I would definitely like to thank Steve, who has been behind the bar for like 18 hours a day for, for two, three days. He, he can't read my laptop, he needs glasses. Um, <laughs> right, we've got more, thing, people, more people to thank, and it's important because everyone needs to be recognised. Now, I am probably going to miss some people out. If you realise I've missed anyone, please shout it out, and we'll thank them as well. So, one of the people that I know, all of the people on the, on the stage want to thank, and probably about half the audience who stood up earlier, the catering team who fed us all have been absolutely incredible. <laughs> Genuinely, most of us haven't gone to the food vendors. The food's that good, and people have been volunteering just to get a meal because the food's that good. So, so, so if you want a meal, um, oh yeah, if you want a meal, uh, are there any more? Oh, oh yeah, are there any more meals? Are we done? Is that a thumb up? I can't tell. That's a thumb up. Please volunteer, and you will get fed. It's really good food. Um, right. So we're going to work down the stage from this end and thank the individual teams as we go, uh, roughly grouped. So we need to thank the infrastructure team, who are not just the internet team. There is the power team, who've worked really hard when we suddenly didn't have enough power cables. So can we have a round of applause for the power team? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just going to keep going through them, because otherwise we'll be here all night again. Uh, the vendors team. They're, they're hiding behind the screen, but I guarantee they are there. So, <laughs> uh, the volunteer team who worked so hard. <laughs> the youth team who have been inundated with kids, and thank you to everyone who volunteered in the youth workshop. You are awesome. Everyone who did speaker ops is extra awesome. You did so well heralding, and it's amazing every time it happens. I really like to thank Dominic, because he made my work a lot easier this year, so I'm a lot less stressed. So he's hiding down here, but. <laughs> and also Sam, who was the proto Dominic before him. So he is. <laughs> We also need to thank our, no, no, I can't say security, what can I say? Stewarding. Stewarding team. Have to say stewarding team. <laughs> thank you to everyone. <laughs> um, I would also like to say everyone who did a night shift, you are extra awesome. It's really hard and we hope, thank you so much.
Also, the web team who made all the web stuff possible, and hopefully meant you could actually see what was going on, buy tickets, etc. It's actually a lot of work because there's so many edge cases, especially with people who are paying in euros. So it is. <laughs> but thank you so much to the web team. And also, extra thanks, I think, from the entire team to Jim, who is filling our new infrastructure, not infrastructure, logistics, logistics position. And he has de dealt with every single delivery that has arrived on site and managed them all. And I don't envy him at all. So thank you so much to Jim for doing that. We've already applauded the AV team, but they are still awesome. Um, oh, extra special thanks to Dimitri, who just brings his lasers every time and puts on a great show, and then just brings flamethrowers as well, because why not? So, <laughs> thank you, Dimitri. And finally, thank you to the first aid team for dealing with things that I don't want to deal with at all. So, <laughs> so. Oh, we have a special guest in the form of somebody who's been to hospital. Hi, I just, I just like to say thank you to everybody that scraped me up on very early on Friday morning, packed me off to the Royal Surrey where I got stitched up and I have been able to enjoy this weekend. It looks bad, but it's only superficial. I'm still the same guy underneath. <laughs> Miserable bastard. Um, there's a gentleman lurking in the corner here with blonde hair. I, I really ought to remember his name, but I've got a bit of brain damage. Um, no, seriously. Um, I had a major spill on very early on Friday morning, and the first aid team and everybody, they were faced with this idiot that was bleeding profusely. Everything worked well, and I was completely delirious, but um, the system worked, the process worked, they patched me up, they stitched me up, I was back here Friday by noon. So. So I'd just like to say a very big thank you to everybody that helped make that happen. Thank you. And so I also want to personally say thank you to Russ, who started EMF with me. And as pointed out, the man hiding in the corner who's Will, who has taken on so much of it and made EMF what it is today. Ooh, missed the so, we have some prizes to give out that are part of events that have happened. I've been asked to call these people out during the, during the opening ceremony, well, closing ceremony. This isn't the opening ceremony anymore. It is. <laughs> It's been a very long weekend. So, yes. so first up, um, there was a capture the flag competition that's been running all weekend. And it had several phases. There was a, a treasure trail, and there was an online portion. And there's all sorts of different things going on. I actually haven't seen any of it at all because I've been too busy. But I hear it's excellent. Um, so, but we have some runners up in the competition. So the runners up are Mr. Robot with 1,975 points. Who was that? Are they still here? No? Nope. Well, there's no prize for you anyway, but you know, it's, uh, <laughs> I'm just announcing you. Uh, Johnny W2K, who scored 2,325 uh, points. Are they here? All oh, right, thank you. No, they're there? Well done, thank you very much. Um, and we have to give a special mention to DCUA, because 
they're in the, they're in Ukraine, and they thought it was a DEFCON competition and entered by accident. Um, <laughs> Uh, and I don't actually know. I'm not sure if they scored higher than the people who are here, so it's difficult to tell. They may have won, but we can't give them the prize. I have no idea. Anyway, the people who actually won are the team formerly known as Empty. Are they here? I have a prize for you here. Congratulations on your prize. Right. Um, we also want to give... Well, I was told to give special mention to this, but it was actually quite irritating. Um, I'm giving special mention to Paul, who got the most points in the scavenger hunt, because he did some quite creative entries. Um, and one of those entries was getting a selfie with me, which I wasn't told about. So... <laughs> I spent the entire weekend with people taking very careful selfies and wondering what was going on. But apparently, he couldn't find me, so got someone else to pretend to be me and got a selfie with them instead. <laughs> so thank you, Portcullis, for being massive trolls. But, you know, it's... <laughs> So, uh, we have another competition as well, which was the Surrey Ears soldering competition. This was solder as much as possible, reducing in size of components in a, a period of time. Now, the world record for this is 17 minutes. And we had someone, we had three people on site who are named here. Um, Justin Woods did it in 23 minutes, 20 seconds. Are they here? No? Uh, Oh, there, there we go. Thank you very much. Uh, we had uh, Aquitas, or Aquitas. I'm not entirely sure. Sorry about that. Uh, in 20 minutes, 45 seconds. Are they here? And the winner is Andrew Lindsay, who did it in uh, 25... Oh, hold on. What? That's... <laughs> You've given me wrong timings here. Oh, right, he's the only one that actually finished. The other ones didn't quite get all the bits done. Right. So I, I did this very quickly and didn't read all the notes. So, <laughs> so Andrew Lindsay, who did actually complete it all in 25 minutes dead, is he here somewhere? You have a prize. You have a prize, but I don't know what it is or where it is. So... <laughs> I, I would go and talk to the people who did the soldering competition and they'll help you out. Anyway, it's, it's the best I can do. <laughs> right, we've pretty much run out of things after so much clapping that probably everyone's got raw palms. But we have two things that have been lost on site. Somebody lost a Pebble smartwatch. Are they still on site? Otherwise, I'm keeping it. Uh, oh, no, you've got it. Oh, yeah, exactly, I'm keeping it. But you know, it's, uh, is anyone, they, do we know who that was? Yes, yes. Right, okay, that person gets back. And also, I found an iPhone on the floor before, um, but I don't want that. But does, does, does... <laughs> Do you want... Come to the HQ and get your iPhone back. Uh, no, it was outside on the floor, just out there. Right, if the person who has lost an iPhone can come and get it, we'd really rather not keep it. Um, <laughs> Stuff. We, we really have enough stuff. Actually, on that note, please take everything with you. If you leave anything behind, we have to clean it up. And we really don't like doing that because it costs, it costs money to throw things away. It takes ages. And we have to leave the site completely spotless. So if you leave anything behind, you hate us and we hate you. So you just <laughs> please take everything. Yes. Um, this goes for like any rubbish at all. Please put it in a bin. You can get bin, you can get bin bags from the info tent. Um, if you've got anything large to get rid of, please come and talk to us, and we'll probably have to put it somewhere out of the way. Uh, that's fine, but do let us know rather than just leaving it in the middle of the field like people did last time. We really don't want to be like Glastonbury where it's a sea of tents at the end. Um, you also need to leave by 1 p.m. tomorrow, unless you're staying for teardown, which because you're all awesome, you obviously are staying for teardown. Well, hopefully they are all. <laughs> Well, yeah, actually, don't all of you, we can't feed all of you, um, so it might be a bit of a fight to the death or something, but just, uh, if you, please stay for Teardown if you can, it's really tiring, we're all knackered because we've been here for a week already and worked really hard, and it always ends up being me, Russ, and Will left at the end picking up litter, and it would be great if there were other people doing that instead of us. Oh, and dealing with lost property, and if anyone leaves a mattress behind, I'm coming for you, and I will end you. <laughs> Thank you.
This really did happen last time. So, right. Well, you came back collecting. We're not talking about that. <laughs> so, right. That's, that's absolutely everything. Is there anything I've missed that we need to mention? I will mention it. Go on, Russ. Oh, wait, wait, no, wait, wait, wait for that. I'll sort that out later. Um, <laughs> The power on the north half of the field will be going off sometime tomorrow morning when the generator runs out of fuel. That means the internet up there will also be going off, but your showers and everything to the south should be fine until midday. Past that, we can't make any guarantees. That, that's the infrastructure thing, and I think uh, then we have to give John T a round of applause as well because he's been dealing with all of the speakers. Uh, You can stop now. On the stage. I think they should all take a bow. It seems appropriate. Would everybody like to take a bow? <laughs> that was never going to work. Right. So, two final things. EMF will be back in 2018. We would like more people to help out. So, if you would like to help out, please do get in touch. Just because we're rubbish at email doesn't mean we don't want you to be involved. It just means we're really tired. Please email us a bit later. So, secondly, if you can all stand up again, just briefly. One more announcement after this. The light's gone. The light's, oh, it's a bit weird. Um, two more things. Uh, we may also do a one-day event next year. Maybe. Maybe. And the very final thing... Other than thank you for coming and having a, a wonderful time. Oh, has Russ got one more thing? Well, I don't know. It depends what your one more thing is. My... <laughs> one more thing. Please pick up your chairs you just stood up from and put them at the side of the tent. <laughs> was that it? Okay, so that wasn't the one more thing. The other one more thing is that if you, if you really can't wait for EMF 2018, you should uh, go to Shah 2017 next year in the ne Netherlands. It sounds pretty good. And I promised I would say this. If you have not bought a Millaways coin, oh, yes. uh, McFly is somewhere around here. There. Please buy a coin from him. It keeps Millaways going. If you don't know Millaways, they are a community-run food stall that tour around all the hacker and camps beer. feeding everyone. And beer, most importantly, the beer. Um, uh, you buy a coin, you get fed, you get, you get beer. It's great. Please buy coins from him to keep, help keep Millaways going in the future. Thank you so much for coming. Please go and drink the bar.